Robbie, one thing here with James the Messenger Zikic, people forget how long this man has been around and how rounded his skills are. He's done virtually everything in this game. That's right, he's competed in just about every form of combat sport there is. Boxing, kickboxing, BJJ competitions, submission competitions, he's been in them all. He just had a big BJJ match with Jeff Monson, who outweighed him by a substantial amount and didn't get submitted, but he, he did lose on the decision. But still, going up against a monster like that, you're really trying to test your skills, and James always is. And a stiff jab from him there to start proceedings as well. Closing the distance well. Favreau's hands seem very low. Sorry, Glunder's hands seem very low. Spinning heel kick that doesn't that. What he's got to watch out for Glunder is the occasional and, uh, shall we say, unfortunate flying knee. The other thing I think is people underestimate Zikic because of his demeanor, because of that lack, lack of smack talk, because of the way he carries himself. You can't overlook just what a good fighter he is. I think he's one of the best in, in the UK. He's one of the best fighters I've seen here, straight up. I mean, he's got all kinds of skills in all kinds of areas. And Rob, as Stephen was saying earlier, we saw from the fight with Cyborg, he's got heart, he's got endurance, and he's got durability. He has, he's a, a great fighter. Right now, a lot of respect up there between Zikic and Glunder. And you talk about heavy-handed with the, the KO of Manhoff, but Zikic is a very good boxer as well, Stephen. Yeah, he, he really is. He's, he's got really good straight punches. Rodney is trying to set up his angles here because Rodney is, is doing his own version of a feel-out round because, like he told me, he said he really, really respects James as a stand-up fighter. James, good defense against those knees, and he needed it, Rob. That's right. Glander did a good job of side to side. I think he may have been caught with a low blow. Yeah, he got caught with a low knee. Yeah, it's, it's too bad. He's, he's not gonna. He's not gonna fake this. Been in battles all over the world. Glander doing a good job up there, just moving side to side, moving around. I think you've called it right, Stephen, for both men. This is it's a feeling out round. They really are working their way into this fight. Yeah, because James knows he can't just walk straight in there. Because when somebody's knocked out Melvin Manoff, you have to respect their striking ability. James called Glander with a left hook on the way in before they tied up high into this position. I think James was doing well in the feeling out process with standing, but I think he's going to be at a bigger advantage when this fight goes to the floor. A little uppercut there, though, from him. And his previous two fights, as we said, Cyborg, they were totally different fights, weren't they? The next one against Vito Belfort couldn't have been more different. Yeah, well, Vito is a different kind of fighter than Cyborg. Cyborg tends to throw looping punches, a lot of low kicks, where Vito, straight out boxing, plus Vito's a southpaw. Now, Rodney, Rodney Glunder has changed his stance from southpaw to orthodox, and he's using a lot of angles, and they connected with a couple hooks right there. See, with him, he's very, very cagey. He's had 96 fights total between MMA and Muay Thai and professional karate bouts as well. As a matter of fact, he just won a world championship in Budokai Khan, the International Budokai Khan Karate Federation. He won a world open weight division. And we see him working, standing back up. Good movement by both fighters as it went to ground and came back up again. Stiff right hand, left hook though from Zikic. Good knee to the body from Glunder. Both these guys are trading extremely well. They close the distance, they clean tight, they break away again. I think the feeling out process here at four minutes into the ground is over. Now they're going to start banging. Right combination landed as well. But prior to that, Glunder's corner were, were furious that he went for the knee and didn't throw it. They felt the opportunity was there. Good body shot by Glunder. Great combinations, working up with a hook, then comes down low on the opposite side. See, Glunder has got so many different angles and tools that James has got to keep things real compact just the way he's doing. James goes for the double leg, doesn't get it, Glunder defends. It's been a very technical match so far. I agree, Stephen. I was just about to say, Rob, it's very well balanced at the moment, isn't it? It's very well balanced. Both guys trading almost equal. It goes to ground, it tops back up. 
very, very equal in, in terms of who levels at the moment. Stephen, when do you think Zikic will test Glunder on the ground? Well, he's tried to take him down a couple of times. So, <laughs> that may be up to Randy Glunder. Well, I would say that get busier with more things like that. Now, he was in southpaw when he landed that left hand. But if he can get uh, James into a plum clinch, like he does here, but he had, you know, he had, uh, he was over the arms of James. He has to get on the inside. Rodney's very evasive here. James did land. That would be a very tough round to score, I think. Picking up on what Stephen said about the evasiveness, you're impressed with Glunder's movement, Rob. I am, the way he's moving, moving around, and as Stephen points out, the angles, he seems to be coming at all different angles. But he is on the back step. James Ickick seems to be having the ring control as he lands one, there's a clinch again. James Ickick, for me, seems to be having the ring control. See, James wants his fight on the floor, and I think he would be better served to take it there, but it's, it's not going to be an easy task, because Glunder is very experienced at blocking takedowns. And he just did one right there. Great work with the underhook. Brings Zikic back up high. Cross face by Glunder. James going down low once again. And he gets him. And he gets him on the floor finally. Goes very low for the ankle kick. Does a great job. Into the half guard of Glunder. Glunder looking for the Kimura. Rodney Glunder is not worried by, you know, his position here. James can't really strike him in the head. He can only go to the body because he's trapped with that uh, Kimura. But I think we're going to see a restart if they don't improve position within the next 15, 20 seconds. Yes, Grant looking closely above our commentary position. Best seats in the house here at the NEC Birmingham. But the good thing for Zikic is, as you said, Stephen, you said there would come a time when he would test Glunder on the ground. But he's holding his own when it's upright as well, isn't he? Yes, he is. The thing is that he hasn't been able to do when they're upright. Now, that was a, a good change because now we got a problem for Glunder. He's mounted. And Zikic has been working in Brazil on his BJJ with Damian Meyer for four months. And Damian Meyer is an Abu Dhabi middleweight champion. So he's in prime position to do and to execute some of the things that he's learned over the past four and a half, five months. And let's put things in perspective here. Will Glunder be seen as a scout for Zikic or is that doing him a disservice? Uh, yes, it is, because this, this is a world-class fighter. Uh, Rodney Glunder is the kind of guy where he's one step away. He, he does hold a world championship in, you know, the, the IKB, the International Budokai Khan Karate, which is basically like Shidokan, where you start off with full contact karate, then Muay Thai, then you do grappling. But, you know, he's more than just a, a mark. This is a challenge. This is like an elimination fight for the guy who wins this should be up for a title shot or to find an elimination fight for a title shot. I think that's a very fair assumption, Stephen. Right now, James Zikic looking to better position. Short cuffing right hand there from Zikic. But Stephen, picking up on Rob's comments earlier about ring control or cage control, do you agree with that as this fight goes on in the second round? Being in favor of Zikic? Um, I think that now that he's got it on the floor, definitely, but now they're going to have a restart. But standing. Um, I, I don't know that it favors uh, James because Glunder has landed a few shots. They both see standing balance, it's so even in their own way. Glunder seems to have a little mouse just swelling up under the right eye. That's right, Robbie. It's under the right eye there. He's blinking a bit from it. Nice little combination. Terry really close and tight, firing shots. See, now, now, now it's a problem because. Glunder can deliver these strikes from all these weird angles, and then the knee catches him, and Glunder going back. I don't know whether he thought he had a guillotine. It didn't look like he was being taken down by James. Maybe James tripped him. So the game, we're approaching the last minute of the second round, Rob, sum it up for us. 
I've got to be honest, I think this is a Zikic round. Zikic has done a great job of just controlling Glunder. He's kept him where he's wanted him. He's been the more active fighter. Glunder, in all respects, has been on the defensive. Yeah, you're right, because the majority of this fight has been fought on the floor with James on top, James dueling out more. Most of the pat with the fists he hasn't landed any crushing blows yet. He's going, for, he's going for a leg, though. He's going for a knee bar. He? Yeah, he's going for a knee bar. Knee Rodney's bar. not even trying to block it, though. Rodney better be careful here because if he gets knee barred, oh, he's going for the heel hook. hook. We've seen this effect here. Right into a knee bar, though. Heel hook right into a knee bar. Rodney has 20 seconds left. He's got to push his way out. He can't kick his way out. He's got to push his way out. He pushed the hand away. Wow. James took a chance there. It was a slow execution by Zickich. Will that be a pinpoint, though, on this round? That, that's that, that's going to basically win the round. And as you said upright, it was it was pretty close. But you felt, guys, that when it went to ground, that's where James came into his own. Yeah, I think that James held his own against the Dutchman. But as we can see here, Rodney Glunder is really unloading to the body. But here was the exclamation point on round two. The attempt, which he transitioned right into a knee bar attempt, but he didn't get it. James McSweeney is saying that Rodney Glunder has got to go straight there and straight on him. Do you agree with that? Yes, I do. Rodney Glunder should get, try and get this fight into a shootout. Because in the clinch and on the floor, it's not going to work for him. And, and he's back there again. See it straight to his back, James on top position again. Because if James goes for another leg lock, he's going to get it. But guys, in each round, he moves for the armbar he attack. He the armbar, he tracked from the armbar. James Zikic wins by armbar. That was so lightning quick. If we look here, you can see James does switch back into the armbar, but what's actually happened is Rodney's badly hurt his left arm in the previous round didn't feel he was able to continue so as soon as James executed it he wanted out and tapped basically you, you mean his right arm his left arm I mean the arm bar here wasn't Wait, the arm bar wasn't was the, the right stopper arm. no no but the left arm James uh, Glunder's left arm was injured during the second round so when James puts the arm bar onto the right arm his left arm's given out on him already and he just wants to get out oh wow ladies and gentlemen after 25 seconds of round three, we have a winner by way of armbar, James the Messenger Ziggy! And ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your runner up, Rodney the Silent Assassin Glunda! So there we go, another fight of the night. James, uh, was it because we're on the Sky Show now? It was a very tentative start from you. Um, I, was I was trying to fill out my opponent. I know he had a lot of experience, so I was uh, a bit wary at the beginning, but I took control of the fight as it went on. But um, a friend of mine died about three weeks ago. He was a, a great man, a great warrior, a father figure. His name is Tommy Keegan, and I know he's in paradise now. He was a great person. I dedicate this fight to Tommy Keegan. Talking of the fight, he didn't manage to hurt you at all, did he? You were a very tentative start, as you said. He didn't manage to hurt you at any point, really, during the fight. I'm very durable. I can take a good punch. You know, I know he's an excellent Muay Thai guy. I was ready for his knees. I was ready for everything. I'd just like to thank my gym line shoot fighters, Alexis, Paul, and all the guys there. Grapple wear, T-shirts and shorts, and London shoot fighters. And um, I'd like to dedicate this fight to God. You know, praise the Lord Jesus Christ. He gives Cheers, James. I'll tell you what, put your hands together for your winner, James Zickich. So there we go, another fight's happening. It was won by Armbar, Dave. Unbelievable. I mean, you can see these guys striking, but James put that armbar on so, so fast. You practice it in the gyms. You don't think it's going to work, and then you see it in a real fight like that. You go, Monday morning, they'll be all practicing again. Knee bar, armbar, knee bar, armbar. Unbelievable.